So, uh, so Donkey Kong agrees to, to help these insects conquer this garden, which was the biggest mistake of his life. Because Stanley... Stanley's... A horse more than a man? So, Stanley sees the insects have come back, and there's a gorilla. Normally, a normal person who sees a gorilla attacking their garden would run away. Not Stanley. Stanley just pulls out his strongest poisons and just goes to town on Donkey Kong, spraying him with such force that it propels him out of the garden entirely. But getting him out of the garden wasn't enough, because Stanley is a maniac. Stanley chases Donkey Kong not just out of the garden, out of the city, out of the countryside, past the aliens, onto the UFO, and off into space. They leave the planet entirely. And then Stanley is chasing Donkey Kong through space for years. So naturally, Junior becomes head of the family. Mm -hmm. he, he gains the title of Donkey Kong. So that's all... That was all happening while Mario was off at war. Now, when Mario comes back from war, he's a bit shell-shocked. You know, he, he's kind of dealt with all of these friendly fire incidents with grenades that that's traumatizing so he takes some time to himself to relax he gets work as a tennis referee nice relaxing job you just sit there and, and watch and, and watch the sport he get he takes up golf you know he used to love golf so he, he takes that up again <laughs> he used to love golf and tennis back when he was a baby yeah when he was a time traveling baby <laughs> So he's he's kind of just he's he's taking it easy and relaxing coming back home. Uh, he goes to a circus to to relax and he sees a gorilla there and he thinks it's Donkey Kong at first but it's Junior who is trying to he was working in a circus trying to make money to somehow find a way to go to space to save his dad again. And, you know, they, they kind of also, uh, they... Mario feels bad about his part in all of the things that have just happened here. And, uh, offers to help out. And they, they have, like, a, a celebrity hockey match. Of, you know, the hero Mario versus the villain Donkey Kong. And that, that raises an amount of money, but it's, it's not that great. Junior, Junior doesn't actually make all that much money with this, this ridiculous schemes. But, uh, Mario's not, also not making much money with all the things he's doing. You know, being a tennis ref doesn't pay very well. He's got, he, he, you know, he's, he's got a, to make a living. So, he joins Luigi on the Wrecking Crew. Also, on the, the Wrecking Crew is led by a man named Foreman Spike who is also a little bit of a maniac. Not as much as Stanley, but he is very angry, especially towards the Mario brothers. He kind of tries to kill them, partially by just hammering walls down onto them, partially by sending his robotic wrenches and eggplant men at them. Yeah, I never really got that one. Yeah, uh, Foreman Spike is a bit of a roboticist. I'm pretty sure he's he's just very angry and resentful of the fact that, you know, he's not taken seriously due to his blue-collar background, so he was never able to make anything of his robotics and just had to, to get this job on a wrecking crew. He's, he's just kind of lashing out at the Mario Brothers, possibly because they are also, like, these big heroes, and he just hates that they have celebrity when... He deserves to, to have something. I don't know. Point is, at, at at some point during this, Luigi gets chased off the wrecking crew. He decides this is this is too big, this is too much, he can't hack it, he leaves. Uh, Mario does not leave. Mario sticks around and he is stubborn and is fighting Foreman Spike at every turn. And this goes for a little while. About fifty stages. A hundred, actually. Oh. Until Mario gets approached by Toad. So, Toad, the Toad named Toad, who is Princess Peach Toadstool's personal attendant, has fled the Mushroom Kingdom and come to Earth to find the hero who had stopped Bowser's accidental invasion of Earth. 
and perhaps defeated Bowser in the past. You know, back when he was a baby. Yeah, and maybe the, they also heard about the prophecy somewhat. So Toad finds Mario and Luigi and begs them for help to save the Mushroom Kingdom, which has been conquered by Bowser. So Mario quits the Wrecking Crew. He and Luigi go through the sewer pipes, through the warp pipes, to the Mushroom Kingdom. They fight through Bowser's forces. They get to the, the through all of them to the Koopa Kingdom, through the or possibly the Mushroom Kingdom castle, a castle wherever Bowser's hold up, and they defeat him and save the princess and save the kingdom. And to reverse the spell, turning all of the toads back into toads. Now, through all of this, you know, they're they're finding all of these gold coins that are laying around the mushroom world. Because, you know, there's all these gold coins laying around the mushroom world. That's just a natural thing that happens. Gold so, coins naturally happen in the mushroom world, I guess. Or at the very least, they get dropped easily. People just drop them everywhere. I don't know. Point is, Mario and Luigi come back to Earth with this huge cache of gold coins... Which kind of, uh, that added to their existing celebrity status from, you know, having their, their exploits in the sewers and, you know, all the shit that Mario's done so far. They kind of become celebrities. Like, it, it kind of blows up. And Mario uses this to his advantage and, like, just starts kind of living a celebrity lifestyle. He goes on a globetrotting golfing tour to... Japan and the UK and all over the place and, and just playing golf and enjoying himself. Uh, he becomes a celebrity boxing referee for like this big boxing uh, tournament. Then he starts getting into some thrill seeking. So Mario decides he wants to become an F1 racer. The best kind of racer. Now, the fastest. normally I, I, you can't just decide to become an F1 racer. You kind of need to... to train at it and be good at driving and get licensed. And they don't and believe that he actually drove any cars when he was a baby. So the, but he so he, he goes to the, the gaming commission and he wants to become a driver and they don't, they're not taking him seriously, but he does have a lot of money and all this gold so they, they humor him. They give him a little go-kart and let him to drive on the, the track in a race. And he wins. Somehow. And then he keeps winning. Somehow. I, it's because he was a kart driver back when he was a baby. This is true. Uh, we haven't actually seen that happen We haven't yet. seen that happen but yet. It, we, but it, we will. That it, it will happen before too long. Back when he was a time-traveling baby. So... Eventually, they kick him out of the league, because this is embarrassing everyone. But Mario's not done with thrill-seeking, and he's not done with racing, because racing fast is one of the best thrills that he can find. And so are hallucinogens. Mario starts doing rally racing on the roads in and around New York City, and in the, like the, the surrounding... Kind of, I, I guess, like going through all of New York, through all of the, the Northeast area. And uh, he's doing this while high, while extremely stoned. And Luigi is there with him because Luigi is terrified that his brother is going to get himself killed. So Luigi is there to try and like curb this behavior and, and get him to, to calm down and or at the very least keep him safe while he's doing this shit. But Mario is, is on a bad downward spiral. So it's a good thing he has a dream. A very special dream. A Interestingly enough, not well stoned. Not well stoned, in fact, no. Uh, he dreams of Subcon, the land of dreams, which is in trouble because it has been taken over by the evil Wart. And uh, in his dream, he, as well as Luigi and Princess Toadstool and Toad the Toad named Toad, all come together in the dream realm and fight Wart and his gang, the Eight Bits, which are made up of Birdo, Birdo and her sisters, Mauser, Triclide, uh, and Fry Guy, and Claw Grip. So they fight the the gang, they fight Wart, they defeat him, they save Subcon, 
And at this point, Mario re remembers adventure is the greatest thrill. Through this uh, this dream adventure, he decides that this is this is what he should be doing. So he and Luigi return to the Mushroom World. The Mushroom World is still in a bit of turmoil because the Mushroom Kingdom was not the only place that Bowser conquered. There are all these other, you know, nearby kingdoms that he took over. So they decide they're going to save all of the kingdoms. 